Hagut Mukhaidish, second of Rosh Khadish Iyar. Let us start with a little prayer. Shir Labana says, Eina ele hori main yo vi ezri ezri mima de noi oise shwein voret salita la mitra glacha yonim shamrecho. Ine lo yonabeli shen shami is hola denish shamrecho, 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 denish Parsha of this week, at least in Chutz Laaretz, in Eretz Yisrael, the parsha ahead of us. It's going to take some time before we're going to reconcile both. But here we read the parsha Kedoshim. Torah starts in the beginning of the parsha. By Daber Hashem and Moshe Lemer, God speaks to Moshe Rabbeinu. Daber al Kol Adas Bnei Yisrael, speak to the entire Jewish community. V'omar to Aleim, you should tell them Kedoshim Tiyu. Holy, you should be. Ki Kodosh Ani Hashem Elokechem. Because I, God, I am holy. In other words, God is telling us, you can achieve holiness because I am holy. Now what does it mean? Because you have a part within you, which is me. You have a part within you, the Nefesh Elokechem. The divine soul, which is a part, as the Alter Rebbe says, an integral part of God himself. So just as God himself is holy, so too can you, each and every one, be holy. What means being holy? Now, holy is trans- explained in Chesidus that means separated, moved out. Separated from what? from all the unnecessary things. So it's not only about the obvious fulfillment of Torah and mitzvahs, but as the Ramban says, Kaddish mutalach. Sanctify yourself with those things that are permitted. But as Alter Rebbe said, and he said it in Yiddish, and I'll translate, was me tornisht, tornisht, und was me mog darf me nicht. Obviously, what is forbidden is forbidden. There's nothing to talk about. But these things that are permitted, we don't need. In other words, not indulging in the physical pleasures of what this world has to offer. That is Kedoshim. This is sanctification. I just heard from Rabbi, from the Shlirch, Ben Yomitzipel, from Arkansas. And he said a very beautiful little anecdote that he experienced himself. A young man not very religious, who would occasionally come into his Chabad house. And one day he related to him the following episode that he experienced. He works for, I think he said, Delta Airlines. And as such, he had travel privileges. I don't know if it's still existing now, but in the past this is definitely what it was. An employee from an airline had certain privileges that he can fly, he can travel whenever he wants, as long as there is some space available. And it was actually permitted even to apply to travel business or first class place permitting. Availability if there is. So although the pay claim was not very great, but this privilege of being able to pick up anywhere, anywhere in the world to visit, to tour, to fly, he went. One day he says he decided to fly to Switzerland. It was in the summer, a hot day. He's going for a few days vacation. He's traveling dressed Summary. Very casual. Shorts, t shirt, sandals. He comes to the airport, goes to the agent, shows his Delta employee travel privilege, and he asks, I would like to fly to Switzerland. The agent looks at him, says, Yes, no problem, and hands him a boarding pass. Recognizing the seat, he sees that he was put all the way in the back of the plane. He's taken back, he says, excuse me, as an employee, I'm entitled to fly business of first. I know there is place. I checked on the internet and I had the computer and I know there is place. So she says, indeed, but not the way you dressed. He says, what do you mean? 
you're not dressed fitting in business class. So he tells her, so if I would change suit proper? I said, yes. He says, but why is that? And she says like this, and he claims, look at the other people who are going to go into over here to business, they're not dressed much better than I am. He says, look, they are paying customers. We have to honor their wish of, of dress. But you are a representative of the company. As a representative of the company, sitting in business and in first class, it is expected from you to be dressed accordingly. So Rabbi Zippel said, what an amazing message. We are representatives of c the company of God. As such, we must behave and we must be dressed in the image of God. Sanctification. Yes, we dressed for the welcoming Moshiach now.